Hey, it's Dana. I've been trying to figure out how the hell to film this, like what I want to say, how I want to start it and everything. But I realised that it's actually being on camera that makes it worse. Like it makes me feel uncomfortable, which is just really, really weird considering I make music and like the type of career and content and stuff that I have to put out. But apparently being on video just makes me freaking nervous <laughs> because also like you want it to be perfect you know I feel like that's kind of society and like the normal pressures of the world today is like you need to be perfect and you need to look perfect and like the background or the backdrop needs to be perfect and the way you word things needs to be perfect you know and like the topic and everything it's just that major perfection I was gonna call it a flaw then, which doesn't really make sense because, but you know what I'm trying to say, like it's a bit of a societal programming. So I decided, you know what? I'm just gonna put these lights down that I was just about to set up and let's just pull out the phone and do it the old fashioned way. And then if I don't like it, we can just delete it. You know, that's kind of one of the amazing things but the thing that we also like ignore is the fact that we can actually just delete it like you don't have to post it anywhere you know like there's always that thing that you really want to do but you're worried that it's not going to be perfect or like not going to be good enough but you forget that only you need to actually see it or listen to it and then you can just delete it you can just throw it away like you don't have to put it anywhere you know <laughs> if you're not happy with it you can just start again do it another day like but this is definitely a part of the societal craziness that we live in you know <laughs> and this week has kind of been a bit weird like today is the um no actually it was yesterday was the solar eclipse like lunar full moon I'm not sure what sign it's in, I need to look, but it was the lunar eclipse and I feel like the energy has been really crazy for a lot of people, like I've been seeing a lot of um, tweets and even Instagram quotes all about like how scattered and crazy and like how much releasing is going on at the minute. But for me, I kind of keep forgetting what the day is. <laughs> this week is really busy, it's been going so fast, I keep forgetting what the day is, so I was like, let me just film, you know? But then this wonderful situation happened where I can actually bring myself to film, which is so weird. So I'm kind of testing this out because I feel like when you do it audio, you can just record anywhere, you know, like it doesn't have to be at a set time. I could literally be in bed and sit up and just voice note a podcast. So I kind of prefer it like this at the minute, but who knows? Things may change, you know, but we got to stop trying to like mold ourselves into the societal pressures and trying to do it in that exact way exactly how everyone else will do it or how everyone else will like it because that's literally what I was doing just now was trying to like force myself to video it because I feel like it's more personal when you're like when you're able to see the person I know for me when I listen to podcasts or I watch YouTube videos I like to actually see the person like I want it to be a video I want to see them but then I don't know, when it comes to filming them, I kind of prefer to just do it audio, you know? <laughs> so, I don't know, we're just trying to figure this shit out and just winging it as we go. But what I wanted to talk about today was actually, I watched an episode of EastEnders the other day, and that's kind of like the only show that I watch with my mum, you know? Like, I don't really watch TV very often, but that is the one show where I will like, I will set the episodes aside. I won't watch them without her. I will always set them aside and we'll catch up together and always watch EastEnders. <laughs> and we end up just sitting there laughing about how pathetic it is, like how dumb the storylines are and stuff. So we don't really take it that serious. But the other day we were watching the episode and they've like started a storyline I don't want to like spoiler alert if anyone's behind <laughs> but I mean it's only extenders you know but um they've actually started a storyline with um domestic violence and what's so funny and so like weird is the fact that I knew like I just knew I could feel it that this storyline was coming like that they were gonna do this kind of storyline with these characters so I really wanted to talk about it because it's mad how like you can 
like you can just tell the programmed kind of message that they're going to portray and obviously it's a good thing for them to talk about and like highlight these kind of scenarios like I've been in this kind of situation before with domestic violence so like I definitely think it's good that they raise awareness and they show what it's like to be in that kind of situation and like they show both points of view as well but it is mad how I mean maybe I knew because I've been in this situation before so maybe that's why I knew that the, that that was like where the character's storyline was going but at the same time I feel like it's mad the level of programming where like it almost makes you not trust the character because you know the type of fucked up storylines that they're gonna do <laughs> like you just know that they're never gonna let it be a happy couple or a happy ever after they're always gonna stir it up and create some kind of storyline you know like how they always make the perfect couple and then one of them will end up cheating or one of them will end up doing something that they shouldn't you know like they never let it just be nice they always have to throw in the bullshit and it's like it's mad how you can instantly pick up on some of the bullshit that they're going to throw in. And if you're not consciously aware, like if you don't realise that that's what they do, then you're like, you won't expect it to come, but also you'll just like buy into it. You know, like your emotions get triggered by the storylines kind of thing. So like, I realised the fact that I've noticed that that's where they're going to take it. It just made me aware of the kind of programming that they do instill. And not just with raising awareness, but I mean in general, like the way it affects your emotions to where you then yourself don't trust somebody. Like in your own personal life, you, st you start to like almost project those kind of storylines onto your own relationships in real life because our brains literally cannot tell the difference between perceived reality and what's real you know because it is a hologram so obviously like it looks real it triggers your emotions in the exact same way as if it's real you know when you're like in a cinema or something and you're watching a film or even at home watching a film and something scary like you can feel your heart racing even though it's not real and you know it's not real you know they're actors you know that you're staring at a screen and that you're in your own space or you're in the cinema or wherever you are like you know that you're not actually physically in the film but it still triggers your emotions in the same way completely as if it's happening to you almost or as if you're witnessing it and you're right there because your brain can't tell the difference you know it's affecting its emotions and especially in the cinema where they literally do make sure that they hit all five senses you know they've got the food and everything but then I mean in some American cinemas they literally like they have those seats that shake and stuff or like blow air at you and all of this weird stuff so like they're proper trying to trigger all of your senses as if you're in the film as if it's really happening it's quite fucked up really but at the same time it's pretty cool you know but obviously it depends what you're watching and whether you're actually aware or not of like the subliminal messages that they're portraying but yeah I just thought it was really crazy how I already knew the storyline that they were gonna do that they were gonna show because I could just tell that this is too good to be true like this couple is not gonna be this perfect they're gonna do something like something's gonna happen one of them are doing something you know and then obviously the way they carried themselves and stuff kind of said to me that it was gonna be to do with violence but I just think it's really mad the level of programming like honestly <laughs> I'm really starting to notice it more and more and more even with shows like Love Island I've been watching this series I told myself I wasn't gonna watch it because to be honest like it's not that interesting really but once I start and I started quite late so I ended up catching up but once I start then I'm just like oh my god I just want to find out what happens now <laughs> you can't even help yourself so I end up carrying on watching but I really really notice the programming and it's not that the actors and like the people on these shows do it or are aware of it and do it deliberately like it's not that it's just the actual message behind the storylines that are very very programming and like 
obviously the people that create this stuff are very aware, like the people that allow it to be on TV, not necessarily the writers, because they could just be passionate and love what they do. You know, when they create a film, they could just be somebody that's really passionate about it. But it's the people that allow it to be on the TV and that allow it to um, blow up as big as it does and stuff like they fully push the promotion behind it is because they know what they're doing like they've chosen a specific message for a reason you know so I don't know I just think it's really really crazy and with Love Island like you can just even if you go on Twitter or you go on any social media and you see people tweeting about Love Island like if you read the um tweets and like the comments and stuff it's all pushing a certain narrative because they instantly know the kind of perception and like the way that the public is going to perceive it they already know you know like they they control everything to get the type of reaction that they're looking for and it's really mad like you can watch a couple argue or you can watch one person do something to the other and it triggers your own emotions and then it brings up memories of your own past experiences and your own relationships and then if you're not like aware and you don't consciously like um make the effort to adjust yourself and take that awareness then you'll carry those beliefs and those emotions into your relationships you know so like you you may never have been cheated on but you've watched so many tv shows and so many films where that happens that you then fear it like you literally fear being cheated on even though you've never experienced it you know, like where, where would that fear come from if you hadn't seen it somewhere, you know, like you wouldn't get that fear, it wouldn't come into your mind if you hadn't actually witnessed it and I was gonna say, I was just gonna say experienced it then but obviously you wouldn't have experienced it because it's not happened to you but then you have experienced it because you've experienced it through watching other people on TV, whether it was a real situation or whether it was actors, like your body and your mind and your emotions have experienced it because you've watched it. Does that make sense? Like, I just think it's crazy. <laughs> it's actually crazy. And that's why they're able to manipulate because then they create the type of messages and subliminal shit that they actually want. And then they push it in front of our faces. So even when we're like, sometimes even when you are aware of what they do the message still seeps into your subconscious you know like it still gets in there it's actually crazy <laughs> but of course we have control over what we allow to trigger us and what our triggers like what types of things can even trigger us you know that's where like doing shadow work and healing past traumas and meditation and all those kind of things can really really help because then you you almost like lessen the amount of triggers that you have like you lessen the intensity of the types of things that can trigger you so then when you do watch their stuff because obviously we're living in a simulation like we're literally living in their system at the minute you know like their system is here so you kind of have to adjust yourself and be able to survive and be able to literally thrive with their system going on around you but without letting that system affect you you know like without letting that system control your emotions and dictate your thoughts so like you do take control of it still living around it essentially because I feel like the way to exit the matrix that like people always talk about how do you exit the matrix and stuff but obviously you can't fully exit it because you're living in it like you're in a vessel and you're on earth whether that's a planet, a plane, whatever you want to call Earth, like you're here with the system that's going on and it is crumbling, like it's definitely changing, but you can't just flick a switch and it not be there, if that makes sense. So I feel like for me, the definition of like exiting the matrix and leaving their system is just through your mind it's just through what you allow to control you and what you allow to control your emotions and your thoughts and how you carry yourself and what you believe in and all of that kind of stuff like that's literally their mind control their mind control is 
just the mind and then once they've got your mind they then have control of your body and your actions and how you interact and like maneuver through the world they're not physically chaining you there's no chains to your body but there's chains inside of your mind in the sense that they control how you think like they already know the way that you're going to think before you even think it because they've just like managed to um like have knowledge of the patterns that happen you know like they obviously they have scientists and shit like we can fully go into mk ultra and all of the kind of stuff you should really research that and all of the things that the government have been doing and like all the different experiments and it's so fucked up honestly it's actually horrific the kind of stuff that they've done but through all of their experiments they know different tactics and different ways to manipulate people and like hollywood and the film industry and music even a huge huge parts of that they play huge roles in that because obviously the whole world literally looks to music and looks to films for their entertainment you know like if the phones if social media didn't exist if the tv shows and films didn't exist if music didn't exist what would the world do <laughs> with their time you know a lot of people they're the main things that they go to for their entertainment to like escape the mundane shit in their lives so if that was all removed then what would the majority of the world do literally <laughs> that's why like music is therapy as well because it's like the healing thing of having that story and stuff you know to process your own emotions and your own experiences through hearing somebody else's perspective of them and that's also why we love like youtube videos for me i love watching different youtube videos of people sharing their perspective on things and stuff so like if that was all gone then we literally, I mean, <laughs> what would most people do? <laughs> but obviously, like, they know that. They know that that is where people's attention is. So that's why they control it. They manipulate it. They push what they want. Like, they put specific people in the charts that they want with specific messages in their songs that they want. They put specific films on that they want with specific messages, you know? Like, it's all controlled and it's all manipulated and they run it for a reason. They run it the way that they do for a reason. So when you know that, you know that it's controlled, then when you actually listen to certain things and watch certain things, you can see it. Like you can see why that film would be released at that specific time with that exact message. You know what I mean? Like you can notice it and you can understand what it is that they want to say. And then the kind of reaction that they want you to have. And you can even notice the kind of reaction that they want you to have by literally looking at everybody else's reaction because most people are having the kind of reaction that they want. You know, like these people know what they're doing. They know exactly what they're doing. So if you just scroll down the trending pages of the specific film or the specific crisis that's happening and you see the comments of what people are saying like that's the exact reaction that these people already predicted would happen and it's the exact one that they've literally manufactured and made happen so I think once you gain that perspective and you understand that this is all strategic and they know exactly what they're doing then you can like step back when you watch things and you can look for the message, like you can look for exactly what they're trying to say so that it doesn't trigger you into that same space, you know? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of funny how EastEnders triggered this whole train of thought, but I have known this for a while, but it's just the more that you become aware of this, then when you watch simple things like Love Island and EastEnders, you see the message. Because I can see the message that Love Island has on young women, especially young women and young girls. Like I can see the imprinting that it's like putting on them with the insecurities and the perfect body image, with the perfect like makeup and whole aesthetic of what beauty looks like and the fact that they then have to be chosen by guys and then they have to choose certain guys too and like they all kiss each other and do all of these little games but obviously it's a game so nobody can get annoyed about it like all of these things are really 
push in certain perspectives and thoughts and fears and emotions into the collective who watches these shows into young people as a whole and then when they start interacting with each other in real life it's like you've got all of these fears and all of these confusing thoughts about these situations that don't actually happen in real life but you've like taken them on so now you fear all of these weird things like you fear that a guy would choose somebody else you know what I mean because you've watched it so much and you've seen it play out so much even though it's not something that would necessarily happen if that show hadn't been on and so many people hadn't seen it you know so like you may fear something with a guy but the guys also watch the shows too so the way he now carries himself and chooses the person that he wants to be with, like he might start fucking around or you may watch it and see couples like um, Molly and Tommy being all like loved up and stuff. And then that makes you think that that's what loved up looks like and that you need to have it exactly that way. You know, it's the same with any reality show, like the Real Housewives and all of these kind of things, you know, it just makes you think that you need to be like that. And that that's what it should look like. Or it makes you accept things as normal, you know? Like, it happens a lot in all of these reality shows. But I don't think people are really aware, especially young people. I don't think they're really aware of, like, the fact that they're literally being brainwashed right now. Like, you're literally having these fucking subliminal things pushed into your brain. And it's actually going to affect and is affecting the way that you interact with people in your everyday life but no one realizes it you know like the amount of times I find myself getting stressed at the tv like that happens on a regular basis and it's normal it's it's deemed normal and everyone gets annoyed at the telly they're like oh my god how could he do that to her how could she do that to him how could they do this how could this situation happen you know like you find yourself getting irritated for the person when it's not even your life and it's not even real half the time because it's actors playing characters but you find yourself getting really riled up about it you know, like that's fully affecting your emotions. And then you have to step away from the TV and you go about your life and you don't realise that actually that like that anger or that emotion has kind of built itself up inside of you and you haven't really released it because you just then go go on to the next distraction. You know, you take that next distraction with you. <laughs> it is mad. But obviously they know exactly what they're doing. So I feel like it's important to talk about it because it it's almost like having to raise awareness about the fucking manipulation that goes on because we've been so conditioned, we're so used to it that it's normal and we don't even realise that it's actually happening. Like you don't realise that these things are affecting your life because it just seems normal and we don't even notice half the time. And of course, with shows like Love Island and all reality TV and EastEnders, like their subliminal messages are not really anything extreme. Like they're not putting the truth in front of your face. It's not the same as with films where they fully reveal exactly what's going on and exactly what this world is and all of this stuff. But with these TV programs, it's more social engineering like they're manipulating the way that we interact with each other and the way that we have self-esteem you know like it's the confidence that we have in ourselves they manipulate that they're like knocking us down without us even knowing it you know and they're controlling how we how we like what we view as acceptable in society it's definitely social engineering and like societal programming of how everything is normal and how other things are not normal you know it's really pushing the social agendas and then with films it's more putting the truth in front of your face fully showing you exactly what goes on in this world exactly what this world is exactly what these people in power so to speak get up to like they fully fully reveal the truth in front of our faces but because we're so conditioned we don't even realize that it's actually the truth you know or we take it too literally we take it literal instead of the metaphorical messages that they're actually showing you that tells you the truth it's mad honestly but I don't really watch films that much because I don't know I think I kind of got bored of them of like because they're not real so I'm like 
I don't really care to watch this because it's predictable. Like their storylines are always predictable and I just don't, I didn't really find it that enjoyable. But I did watch a film the other day, which I kind of felt like I wanted to watch it because I knew there was huge subliminal messages. I'd heard about it before, but I didn't know exactly what the film was about. So I wanted to watch it and just see if I could tell what they were trying to say. And oh my God, like it's insane how in front of our face this shit is and yet we don't notice like we literally don't notice because it's too obvious it's just so obvious that like you wouldn't even think that that was a real thing so I watched Bird Box and (laughs) it's fucking insane like it's actually laughable because whenever you question whether like the truth is real or not whenever you start to doubt yourself and doubt what you know and almost buy into the propaganda that things are conspiracy and that they're not real, whenever you start to go along that path, if you just watch a film like Bird Box, you instantly are like, nah, this is just ridiculous. Like, it is clear that they're doing this shit. It's so clear because it's literally right in front of your face. You know, like you can't doubt it when you go and you just literally see these stupid films and see the subliminal message that they're saying. It's insane. (laughs) Like to be blindfolded is literally telling you that we're blind. Like we can't see. We're not seeing it. We're not looking, you know, and they can't take the blindfold off. They literally can't because it will kill them. (laughs) How it's just so funny how ridiculous is that like it's fully and it obviously it's metaphorical it's not literal so it is literally telling you that the collective is asleep they have blindfolds on and they're not looking they're not seeing it clearly and if they were to take it off it would kill them not literally kill them but as in like they can't handle it they can't take it off they're not ready to take it off and see it's so insane but of course in the film the people that are in mental institutes can see they can completely see the demon thing that's out there they can see it exactly for what it is and they keep saying look open your eyes it's beautiful they're calling it beautiful they're saying open your eyes look open your eyes and the rest of the world can't open their eyes because it will kill them like how how ridiculous is that that it's like fully showing you that the world is asleep the world has their eyes shut to the truth but also like how did it actually kill them it killed them with their own fears what they were seeing when people did take the blindfold off they were seeing like um people that had died like their mom who died or like something that was traumatic to them or a fear that they had it was always something to do with their own mind it wasn't an external thing that was killing them it was themselves it was their own fear their own thoughts their own memories you know like how deep is that (laughs) that like it's your own mind that kills you and that's why they're not taking the blindfold off because they're in so much fear they're literally scared of themselves scared of stepping into their own power scared of facing themselves and their own past experiences or their own traumas you know or people in their own lives so like the truth is literally (laughs) themselves how deep is that shit like it's really right in front of your face but obviously you have to be able to look at it and understand it from that perspective instead of just seeing it as oh my god a demon is just killing people and they can't look at the demon so honestly we really just have to be careful with what we watch and what we allow to be put into our minds and into our subconscious because we know how powerful that is and how much effect it has on us you know like it's literally why they have age limits on games on computer games and stuff they have age limits deliberately because you can't tell the difference between perceived reality and real reality so even though you um know that you're like killing someone in a game your mind doesn't know the difference and I feel like with a computer game maybe it's kind of different because obviously like your emotion isn't getting triggered in that sense but then when you're in a tense situation it is you know like your heart might be racing because you're trying to like kill everyone by a certain time or something like that you know it just affects your emotions so even though it feels like it's a game 
Your mind and your body and your emotions don't know that because your heart is racing just as if it was happening, you know? So I just think we really have to be careful with what we consume and what we allow in our space and in our minds because it actually is that deep like it sounds ridiculous and it sounds like it's not that serious but it actually is and it really can be depending on who it is that's consuming it you know and that is exactly why they control it the way that they do so yeah I just noticed all of these subliminal messages and I wanted to jump on here and talk about it because it was kind of crazy (laughs) I think I watched all three shows in the space of a couple of days so I was like oh my god this is a perfect thing to get on the podcast and talk about and I could decode some films properly at some point but I feel like I want to get more in tune with myself and like more certain of what I know and what I'm uncovering before I start talking about it you know I don't want to just start decoding shit and then a few days later be like oh no I don't think that was the message anymore I feel like it was this or this or this you know so this process is definitely a part of learning how to be comfortable in yourself learning how to stand in what you know and accept your perspective where you're at and just like give yourself the room to grow but not punish yourself for where you once were you know so it's the same with what we allow to consume it's like you can't punish yourself for what you once used to do but you allow yourself to grow and you allow yourself to change and shift and make the changes that you want you know so I just think it's being it's about being aware it's about really gaining awareness of yourself and then of the other things that happen around us because as we know this world is full absolutely full of things that we wouldn't necessarily choose ourselves like things that we wouldn't necessarily want to exist but that just do because somebody else created them you know and these specific films being one of them because obviously we as the consumer people didn't create them so I think that's why I'm more conscious about the kind of music that I make too because I want to put out specific messages that are empowering and not all of this negative bullshit like the way they've changed the frequency of music that is fucked up so we can get into a whole episode about that because it's insane when you discover this and all of this is scientific like it's not actually wishy-washy surface stuff like it's legit it's not conspiracy that's another part of their agenda is to have the truth out there but have so much of it out there that it's confusing and then also have the agenda that it's a conspiracy or that there's lies or that all of this stuff so then you doubt the truth when it's put in front of you it literally makes you doubt it or makes you think that these people that are telling you are actually crazy and that they just buy into all of these conspiracies that are bullshit when in reality these conspiracies have so much fact behind them that like the idea of it being a conspiracy is a conspiracy in itself (laughs) like the idea of it being a fucking lie is a part of the agenda to keep you confused and not sure what the truth is, you know, because we have so much information now of the internet that there are lies everywhere, but there's also a lot of truth. So yeah, I just think it's about really like trusting yourself and then going after the truth and the facts and really researching it for yourself to uncover the truth, basically. But I feel like you always know that you'll read something and if you trust yourself, you can feel your body, you can feel whether something feels off or whether you really resonate with something you know like you can kind of tell so yeah I think I'm gonna leave this episode there and we will get into deeper topics as we go along because there's so much to cover I literally don't even know where to start honestly honestly (laughs) so we're just winging it and seeing how this goes but thank you so much for listening I really do appreciate your support and thank you so much to everyone that's been listening to my music honestly it is insane and we have so much new music coming I did just send off a song to all stores so the release date will be announced soon but I will list in the description on YouTube and also in the description thing on like Anchor and Spotify and everything 
with links to my social media and all of that kind of stuff so I will see you over there but yeah thank you so much for listening and watching and I will see you in the next episode bye Pull it down. oh yeah oh yeah Pull them down. oh yeah oh yeah they're falling down Yeah